Yeah, thank you, Professor Jubenlock, for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. At the beginning, I would like to correct my title on the program. So where of the first generation crossing polyethylene was not triggered by the age. So this is my disclosure. So as we know, cross-linked polyethylene improved wear resistance dramatically. Here, the wear of cross-linked polyethylene is almost flat after eight years compared to the time-dependent increased wear of conventional polyethylene. Consequently, wear-related osteolysis reduced, leading to the improved longevity of THA. So this is our result. Implant survival with any division as the end point was 96% with cross-linked polyethylene compared to 85% with conventional polyethylene at 12 years. With the expectation of THA longevity, patient age becomes lower and also their interest in sports activity increased. So these are the report of the wear analysis. So mostly they are up to 10 years, and the longer follow-up is still limited. In addition, the impact of sports activity was more limited. The questions of the study were how much wear did the first generation cross-link polyethylene show at minimum 10 years follow-up? The second question, is do age and sports activity affect wear of first generation cross linked polyethylene? So, from 2001 to 2008, primary cementless THA was performed in 647 hips. After exclusion, 357, 53 hips were analyzed in this study. At the mean age of 60 years old, and the female OA was predominant, and the follow-up period was average 13 years, ranging from 10 to 17 years. During this period, we mostly used 26 millimeter head. The head material was zirconia or alumina ceramic head. So uranium was 6 megarad iridization and annealed polyethylene, and longevity was 10 megarad iridization and remelted polyethylene. So they were used in 314 hips and 39 hips, respectively. So polywear was used to measure the creep and the steady state linear wear. So these are the statistics. So this is the distribution of P polyethylene penetration. The steady, steady wear rate was 0 0.0002 millimeter per year. When the patients were divided into two groups under 50 and over 50 years old, 36 hips with which was 10.2% were under 50, ranging from 18 to 49 years old. So 0.002 millimeter per year in the under 50 group and 0.004 millimeter per year in the over 50 group without any significant difference. So we can say the younger age didn't increase the wear rate. Head size didn't make a difference. Head material Zirconia or alumina didn't make a difference. So there was also no difference between ionian and longevity. The shorter follow-up results were reported several years ago. How about the effect of sports? We surveyed the sports participation of 215 patients. 89 hips in 
80 patients, 84 patients, or 30 percent participated in sports. According to the ARCAS classification, so 77 percent low impact, 8 percent intermediate impact, and 13 percent high impact, such as jogging and ball games. So are there any effect on the wear? So no. There is no statistical difference between the group with and without sports participation. That sports did not increase the wear of first generation cross-linked polyethylene. How about the effect of high impact sports? So again, no difference was noted between low, intermediate, and high impact sports. So this is an overall analysis. So we couldn't find any significant factors for the wear. Again, age and sports, including high impact sports, didn't increase the wear of first generation crosslink polyethylene. I'm going to show several cases. This is a 22 year old ma male with osteoarthritis after Partis disease. So 12 years, excuse me, 12 years later, there was no visible wear and osteolysis. Wear rate was 0 0.002 millimeter per year. This is a 47 year old male. He has been jogging three times per week for more than 10 years. So 14 years later, there is no visible wear and osteolysis with wear rate of 0 0.004 millimeter per year. So is the first generation polyethylene perfect? Unfortunately not. Among the revision cases, less than 10 years, we experienced the breakage of polyethylene in two cases, 0.3%. So this is a 36 years old female and had THA for steroid induced AVM. Eight years later, so she suddenly had a dislodgement of polyethylene like this. And detailed analysis suggested that there are a mechanical weakness due to oxidation at the limb dome junction. So many factors for wear were identified in case of conventional polyethylene, including age, body weight, activity, head size, and material. In contrast, most papers reported stable wear-resistant performance of cross-linked polyethylene. Though this study also showed no clinical relevant wear problem of the first generation cross-linked polyethylene up to 17 years. So regarding the age, Bababic reported 40, uh, 54 cases under 50 showing very low value of wear at 10 years in accordance with our result. Palant at all reported 78 cases under 20 showing again low wear and no osteolysis at eight years after THA. So in terms of wear, we can say age doesn't increase the wear, wear rate at, at present. Regarding activity and sports, Bedard reported showed low wear rate at more than 10 years and no correlation to daily steps and the UC area activity score. Abe at all reported 23 jogging patients and showed no visible wear and loosening at five years. So we also didn't find any difference between the patient with and without sports. So these findings encourage us to perform THA to young patients who have no indication of joint of the preservation. However, first generation polyethylene had underlying mechanical problems and oxidation. So several papers of breakage suggest that we should not overly trust that cross-linked polyethylene. So now we have a second generation cross-linked polyethylene with sequential cross-linking and or vitamin E adaptation 
and the new locking mechanism. So better results are expected with the second generation cross-linked polyethylene. So although two cases had a linear breakage, first generation cross-linked polyethylene showed excellent wear resistance at 13 years on average. Age and sports participation showed no significant effect on cross-linked polyethylene, regardless of impact so far. Thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.